just look pretty. She won a job. You're an extra. And rolling. Harrison, how are you going today? I'm good, Nick. How are you? We're, We're back at Brisbane Bricks TV. BBX, the actual Brisbane Bricks uh, 10th anniversary show. It is. We are back at the very first location, so we've gone from the new to the OG. Yeah. And we're going to start Malcolm off. Matt. Here's where we've got the barbecue happening with all the behind the scenes crew. But let's take you in and see some of the Lego show. And quickly, we're going to cross the road. Before we get run over, Alan, come with us. Yeah. So, so hey, thanks for letting us in. Hey. Five bucks, only five bucks today, everyone. So, 10 years ago, this is where we started, Nick. Um, Russell did a lovely spiel for us this morning. I actually met him and the Brisbane's family for the first time at the Saturn Rocket event that he was talking about with Ryan McNaught. 10 I years ago? didn't get here though, sadly. Wow, oh, right. I came about two years later when I met Scott, uh, who is one of our other pretty older members. Hey Marcus, one he, of the original members. One of the original OG. members has just stuck his head in. Yeah, I was about two years behind you, so yeah, I've only been here since, how are you going? Good. And welcome everyone to the show. Welcome. Right, we're going to do a lap around the guts to start with, around the there. middle section. We'll find Marcus at his show. All right, so let's kick it all off. Here you go, Brad. Basically, Run us through some space. What do you got? Basically, it's Harrison said, space. <laughs> We've got space. And yeah. the main centerpiece is uh, an updated, updated base plates for the... Uh, Icon's Galaxy Explorer to replicate the uh, the original Galaxy Explorer set from 1977. Okay, while we're talking about base plates, what about this clear base plate? Is that a thing? Apparently so. I found it somewhere. I have no idea where, but it is a genuine Lego part from what Excellent. I remember. I don't think I've seen one of those. The clear pieces which sometimes come into the market are, are actually normally held in the Lego HQ and used by the designers while they're planning stuff. Right. I didn't know that. Thank Good. you, Harrison. So that's how we ended up with the clear headlight brick in some sets because it was originally made for the designers while they were prototyping. And we're looking forward to the next spaceman to come out, which is the Chocolat. Yes, yes, with the baby Benny. Yep. And the purple, uh, purple purple's up there. Getting air tanks and a helmet with the uh, Lunar New Year set. So suddenly we're going to have the whole rainbow happening. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Dan. We will see I you next time we uh, <laughs> go into space. Cheers, Dan. Thank you. As we move through here, we have G'day. the new avatar sets on display. G'day. We're doing a little bit of a video shoot. Oh, We're okay. going to go through your uh, display. Okay, cool. How are you doing? Not too bad, yourself. Show us what you've got on, on the show here. Uh, all the catalogs from what, 1988? Uh, we got 19, goes all the way back to 1993. So we got 93, 94, 95. Get those this is still before my time, just quietly. <laughs> yeah, I was born in 92, so that's why it starts there. Yeah, right. And it goes all the way up, there's a bit of a gap between 4 and 10 because I stopped. <laughs> oh, dark back. ages. Yeah, We've exactly. all had those. <laughs> exactly. And then it just keeps going all the way up to 21 then. Yeah, right. What's happened to 22? Aren't they out yet? Uh, I just couldn't find it at home this morning. Ah, oh, okay. Um, well, a nice little, nice complete collection. They'd be good to. Fill in some of the gaps, I guess, as you go. Yeah, exactly. I'm liking that OG X Wing personally. Right, and then on the and then table. We have all the official Avatar sets that recently came out. So well, we that... take it you're excited for the new movie. I am very much so. <laughs> and the new sets from the new movie. Right, well, I haven't seen any of these, so run me through it quickly because um, I don't know them. Well, we've got the cheapest set here down there, which is those two. A bit of foliage back there you get for um, 90 bucks over there. I do like that we've got long legged minifigs again since, um, haven't had that since Woody in Toy Story. Exactly. Toy Story, yes. Since Woody that have done that. And they got a bit of a weird sort of friends looking head. And then. Well, look, elf almost. Or well, goblinish. Yeah, exactly. I didn't like them at first. I'm quite I'm a getting, fan of the Wyverns, personally. Yeah? And this is the largest set here. You get the tree, you get the giant guy, you get the. Some more foliage and rocks there. And it's also uh, a set range that has brought a lot of new parts in new colors. Uh, yeah, so exactly. that is another interesting thing. Lots of nice greens and light blues. And the mech over there is like camo green color. It's actually nice to see them in person actually built because I've only seen the, the pictures. And there's some really cool pieces that really jump off, especially with those black tablecloths. Yeah, they've got a lot of pop and color. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good to have something new at, at our show that we haven't seen. Speaking of pop and colour and elves, funnily enough, How leading you us right into. What have we got? Run us through. Elves. Hold this. 
Okay. Um, it's an elves village and there's heaps of different dragons. Um, we have a couple of Maleficents in the water. A big one up there. Nice. Nice part you and, to take away the yeah. legs because she's um, and we have individual dots through all of the water through here. Um, that took me That's a, glorious a long, waterfall. long time. It took me a couple of weeks to do because every time I'd build the tie ones, put the little ones in front, it'd break again. So that was great. Building up your brick stack, I see as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, what else? What's your favorite thing in, in, in the build? Oh, I know they say parents don't have favourite uh, pets or children, but surely there's a favourite dragon. Mine. Oh, dragon? Yeah. Probably be the orange or the purple Fire one. Fire dragon? Yeah. Or the purple one at the front there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm quite fond of that purple one. I like it. Yeah, that was a hard find. <laughs> that took a long time to figure out where that was. Some of the elf sets now are pretty collectible. That was, I think, $250 just for the dragon. Wow. Does not surprise us. We have an expensive hobby. <laughs> yes, we do. And yeah. that, it still keeps improving in value. So This is it, true. It is a, it's a worth the investment. Yeah. Did you cut them? All right. Well, we'll keep moving on then. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. We're going to get a roll. Oh, we, do you know who did the gold dragon? Is that is that Dad's? No, no. no uh, 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 there you go. Gold dragon. Oh. Kelly, take us through your fairground. Um, so the batteries are run, flat, so we won't see the coaster running. But uh, lots happening here in your in your fairground world. Have you got a favourite part, Kelly, that you can point out to us quickly? The evil can evil stunt bike. And he's from the normal size leg uh, Toy Story wave, which was slightly more recent than the 2008 one. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, Kelly. Ron! Ron with his Technic creations. How are you, Ron? I'm well. Do you want to, we'll give you a microphone. Do you want to point us out to us what you were telling us about earlier? I believe there was some last minute building that's going on. Oh yes, I uh, built this one at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> us Lego people never sleep, it no, appears. I woke up and I thought, oh yeah, because that beam only turned up yesterday. Is this, is this the room? So, and, um, yeah. I know it's like choosing your favourite child, but have you got a favourite piece on the table at the moment, Ron? Uh, probably this one, the heavy duty tow truck. I'm liking the uh, updated work in uh, place health and safety with the fluoro ends on the crane jibs. <laughs> and did you add these lightning stickers or is that part of that build? No, that's part of it. They're the stickers that come with the set. Yeah, right. The power tow. The power tow. Some people didn't like it. I just adds to it. I like putting stickers on. And lights. And lights especially. Yes. Always got to have lights. Yes. And other little bits and pieces like... Yeah, throw a technique the bat. in there, driving Fred's garage. Yep. I like that little touch. And the little sloth, because that's a very slow moving truck. <laughs> <that one. laughs> Good one. Yep. <laughs> I only just noticed that. How many Technic men have you got now? Uh, quite a few. Oh yeah? You've been collecting them? Yeah. When they're available. I think I've only got five. Oh, they right. pop up on Brick Resales, one of our uh, people who is actually retailing uh, at our show today. Uh, quite a, quite rarely, and I, I often see Ron get them very quickly. He, Thanks, must, he must have insider information. It's the only answer I've got. Before you stuck Thank your you, space, Scott, you want to talk? Hey, Scott, get, get welcome to Bruce me. Bricks TV. Run us hey, through guys, how are you? your Good table, please. See you again. Uh, run us through your table. Um, military helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, quite a, it's quite almost like he's got a theme. It's, uh, choppers. Yeah, only half a dozen choppers. So I've got a uh, two different Seahawks, the Venom, um, Blackhawk Dap up the back, Kiwa Warrior, and the Air Force Pavehawk up the front. And I did hear somebody did some Black Friday shopping as well. Yeah. Well, I just got a little carried away with Black Friday shopping. So there's, uh, more, there's more choppers coming. You got more choppers? Oh, uh, only one. I've, I've still got... Two choppers sitting at home in, in kit form. You got chickens and choppers? Chickens and choppers. No, but I can have some. Minister of Lego Defence, I think, for Brisbane. Yes. Br uh -huh. Brisbane's is Lego Defence uh, Lego Defence Minister. And you've been repping these all over the country. So where have yes. you been recently? Uh, so 
Canberra uh, Yeah, so I was yeah. down in Canberra two weeks ago uh, yeah. with the inaugural Canberra Brick Show. Which is awesome. I actually had eight tables down there. So this is kind of a baby. <laughs> this is a baby display. I had eight tables down there by you myself. Had the whole military. Yep, had the whole whole air force, and I still left stuff at home because it wouldn't fit in the back of the car. Ah uh, yes, the joys of transporting Lego. Massive display though. Yeah, well. it is. It's the only time I get to look Was at it anything. Good representation. At yes. Plug? Yes. Uh, Sealog guys are awesome. They loved having us down there. Yeah, and um, we've had them at our show. It's always yeah, good to it's, reciprocate. It's, it is. It's been really good lately. Um, we've all been getting out, going to each other's shows. I think everyone's enjoying the travelling. Yeah, it's, it's good we to, get see to see live music and live Lego shows again. Oh, yeah. Melbourne and, coming and up in January and Wollongong in April. April? Brick yeah, Venture yeah. in January. It's yeah, Harrison, this year. Harris and I are going to go fly the Bruce Briggs flag down at Brick Yeah, Venture. good job, guys. I look forward to seeing some pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll have them, we pictures. promise. Mr. Stringer. Hey, is that train going, going backwards? How have you done that? I love how you've got these trains automated now. Look at this. Talk us through what's happening here. Uh, it's just a couple of simple things. The one on the outside, we'll just do a stop and start around the back there just to make it so I can show you how easy yep. or how simple that is. So the yellow is. train approaching the green at yep. the moment and suddenly it, it registers. Stopped. Yep. And then it flicks the switch. He has a uh, colour sensor underneath the engine. Yep. Uh, there's a green tile, a green plate up there on the lines. He's registered the green plate. It's time to stop. He's going to stop for about 30 seconds or so. Right. And then he'll be on his way again. He, I accidentally was going to tell him to go backwards, so he has this little hiccup where he does his little oh, yeah. backward he... fires off. Oh, yeah. A little take off. Yeah, don't worry about that. And then the blue, the blue one. Now, it's the same type thing again. However, this one will do a full loop backwards before it goes forwards. Okay. Now, we've been following along on the uh, Facebook page, which you can find us at Brisbricks as well, as well as I believe you help do a lot of work on the train site. The uh, new design for the bumpers, looking yes. very, very official. Yes, uh, but I got told off that it's missing its little red light on it. Ah, semantics. There's always time for the next build. Yeah. Well, yeah, next I know you want to spook a little bit about your Kiwi rail that you've got over the back there. She's a monster. She's yeah, a beauty. So it's a big, big rig. 886 pieces. Nice. 55 studs long, 8 custom studs wide. Custom build, of course, people can't just buy that, but no. there are plans you, available. You can get the instructions from yep. Bullet Bricks uh, online. Uh, he's on SA and uh, Mox Market and Facebook. And right. so Shout he's out to Bullet out. Bricks. Yep. Good job. Bullet and he's, Bricks, he does yes. a great job at designing trains. He does. He does. And he's uh, Got a few Australian trains in the pipeline coming soon. Yeah. So hopefully next year we'll see you. Maybe somebody's birthday. So has Jenny heard about the budget requirements for that yet? Uh, or no, are, she hasn't. Are we keeping that on uh, yeah. Brisbane so after TV after And that is the centrepiece of your display today. I guess that's a modified Jenny Parkland. This is, yes, this is her uh, Australian summer Christmas. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So we oh. always have it down by the beach. Well, she's got a lagoon going on here. Yep. She had the swimming pool, but we threw that out in place of the Christmas house. It's really the Christmas house six is a white special. boomers, but you know. No, she got two plain reindeer. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, well. That's a little specialty. That's a shout out to TJ, built us a little fireplace. Oh, he, he did the motorizing yeah. for you? Well, he built this all up for us, and we hooked it up to the uh, hub, the train. So They're next time we come today, aren't they? They're in Japan, having a great time. Oh. Oh, well, I knew there'd be a real reason why TJ's uh, not here. So I'm glad he's represented, at least on the table there. Yes, so shout out to TJ. Great build. We love it. Love oh, that fantastic. Train. Thank we're, you very much, Mark. Are we doing drag or are we going that way? All right. We're going to race on around to uh, Nixon and Magnus. You're first. Do you want to tell us what you've built? I, my dad helped me build the Moana in Minecraft. And what's your favourite part of this build? Um, I guess like how how those multiple one is showing the different events in the movie. I think in our last show, one of your favourite things was your yeah. character you created. So that's still representing. Good. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have a favourite piece that almost comes to every show as well. So it's nice to see other people do that. Thanks for coming along to the 10th year show. Now, speaking of 10 years, one of the original members as well, Magnus, do you want to run us through your favorite part on the display today? Hey, Magnus, how are you? Good, good. You how are you? I will. I'll try not to eat it. <laughs> good. The mini um, mic. Yeah. Um, favorite thing? Well, I mean, the, the newest thing I can say is the, uh, the Warhammer 40,000 inspired land raider there. 
So I wanted to build that for like six years, um, having accumulated the parts, uh, most of them six years ago, with a cool little Space Marine. So uh, it's probably I've my favorite today. I've been to see these. Oh, yeah. The Space Marines, for those interested, yeah. uh, are from series eight of the series oh, yeah. minifigures. Now you've got quite a few of them. Yeah, uh, I think I've probably got about 20 if I kind of look in the cupboards. Um, <laughs> So yeah, yeah that, that's uh, one thing. The, the the other thing I got on display is, it's not surprisingly for me, Harry Potter related. Um, got a number of small models we we can cover first. Um, this is uh, the figure or the train that was in the advent calendar three years ago, um, which I built a display for, where we can see Hogwarts Express driving over the the viaduct. I know how Two, this make curved bridges. Yeah. So it's a good job. Yes. Then two years ago, flashback. we had Hogwarts, the Ubatons carriage, and a Doomstrang ship. Um, all three small models that came with the advent calendar there. And I built this kind of a pop up book experience for to display these models. I love that. Yeah. And you can follow Magnus on Mac Bricks these days, isn't it? Well, yeah, you've got the. Well, I changed the name for uh, Bricking Magnific. Uh, for for, uh, for that one, uh, but the, all the Harry Potter stuff is on Blockwoods. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, these two characters, uh, or these shirts there, they are from the Advent Calendar four years ago. Um, so uh, the knitted shirts from uh, Molly Weasley. We got Ron, Harry just opening up, and yeah. it was very special for him because it was the first real Christmas where he got presents. Yeah, he was not used to that otherwise in the, in the Dursley's house. I'm loving the curved wall without the use of hinge pieces. There's some NPU there. Yeah. yeah. And as it's day three today of the advent calendar, how far are you into your newest advent calendar? Yeah, I'm doing the review on my uh, blog of it. So yeah, so we'll You're be posting it, posting it tonight yeah. about uh, day number three. Nice. So stay tuned on that yeah, one. We will. There we go. Yeah. Then two larger models. Uh, got Hogsmeade Station. The station itself is built by Russell for our collaborative ex display. I built, added some extensions to it. It's built uh, after uh, the real station, uh, Goldland in North Yorkshire, that was used for the filming. It's a beautiful old station that hasn't been added to it for more than 100 years. Um, and it's often used for TV shows and movies. Um, and then, the same age as Russell then? Yeah, I was about to say me maybe. <laughs> Good thing he's not here to hear that. <laughs> And then we got King's Cross Station. We got Hogwarts Express uh, Park there. Um, some some interesting techniques used with the roller coaster tracks that are used to, to have the curved roof. Um, and inside, you can see platform nine three quarters with a lot of the well-known characters from Harry Potter about to board the train. Yeah. The front of the whole um, uh, setup is it was. Uh, something I designed using photos of uh, King's Cross Station from I took when I was in London back in uh, 2018. So again, another one where you try to capture the real feel of the building. It's really um, cool to see the personal significance tying yeah, into the build. It's a good facade. Yeah. As always, master builder extraordinaire at large and on display repping for Brisbane again. No worries. Congratulations on being with the club for the whole 10 years. Yeah, it's been, been a good 10 years. It has. Thank you, Magnus. Thanks, Thanks very much. Let's move along. We may be missing a couple of displays They're here. actually helping Johnny, oh, our on ambassador, on the barbecue. So, uh, we'll run through it very quickly, yeah, well, though. My highlight, food, obviously. being food themed, always makes me hungry. Speaking of the barbecue, you are absolutely right, Nick. And then I believe that the art style is the 8-bit style. Uh, for some of the original Mario Here's a Pac highlight, games. speaking of food, they were the original meat tray winners of the club. And since then we've had several meat trays where we actually do Lego I platters. still haven't got one, I'm very oh, disappointed. Oh, you've missed out. Oh well. What's the point of this Well, we have stuff? recovered this at BBX. Um, they had these characters on display. They're actually Michael's builds. So Tennille did that side and Michael has done this side. That's Although right. Tennille will uh, shoot me if oh, I don't remind her that she, uh, yes. she helped with everything. All right. Speaking of things we've seen at BVX, but in a slightly different format, yes, and we can get into some, some of the finer details, perhaps, uh, flying over the camera. Marcus, do you want to grab the mic and give us a bit of a run through your revamped castle and what you've done to um, enhance it for this show? 
Well, the first thing I did to enhance it was to stop pulling it apart. Um, so the, the timing of the email to say that this show was going to be on was, well, let's just say it another few days and it would have been a slightly different emotive response. Uh, but anyway. Um, Thank you, MailChimp, for that save. In, indeed. Um, <laughs> but I had actually taken pretty much taken apart most of my landscaping. So the last few weeks has been madly rebuilding that. So, yes, so nice th moat. Th thank you for that. Yes. Thank you. Um, Double waterfall moat. Uh, yes. So, you know, I thought it was a nice little touchdown. It is. It's got to run off the edge. It like it's falling over the edge, right? We've had some good waterfalls today, actually, Nick. Well, look, we're getting better as a club of building a lot of uh, details into our builds, which include the water features. Oh, yes. And I, I like over this side, for oh. instance, we have, um, for, for the festive season. Oh, of course. Um, you've got you know, a bit of a homage. Uh, we've got uh, Santa having a bit of a kip at the a back kip there. Kip at the keep. Yep, kip at the keep. Yes. Um, and, and of course, a, a few uh, choice morsels uh, for the reindeer to steady their nerve for the coming efforts over the next few weeks. And, and what I like is that we have, um, speaking of keeps, is keeping you in the club since the original as well. So you're another 10 year life member as of uh, today. Well, uh, and probably a bit earlier than that to be true. A little bit earlier, yes, yes, it was. Although I, I did have a period where I wasn't here for a while when I was uh, living down in Melbourne and then lived over in Singapore. Uh, but and I'm back now. Original president of Brisbane. Uh, yeah, thank you for bringing that, uh, that one up. Uh, you um, deserve the accolade. Uh, th those those memories are still raw. Tra no, it's also <laughs> traumatizing, that's not quite right. Uh, let's just say I still remember them well. Um, <laughs> Hi, Ken. How are you going? At um, least it wasn't boring. No, no, it certainly wasn't boring. <laughs> uh, look, uh, you could say it's when the blue and the red parted ways. Well, look, at, at the end of the day, any any organisation goes through various uh, growing pains and, and you know, we were going through a lot of change at the time mm -hmm. um, and there were different opinions as to how that would uh, progress. So, you know, um, but anyway, what, what matters really is that how we've come together over time that's um, right, and, and now, healing some of those. Uh, absolutely, and, and now that uh, you know, we've got members from all different clubs you know, coming together um, under the one banner, so to speak. And like that it, banner is Lego. We're just well, that's right, representing exactly. Lego for the public to come and enjoy what we are very passionate about. And it should be said we wouldn't be here today without those efforts, so thank you again. Yeah, no, look, uh, you know, it, I, I still remember very clearly uh, you know, coming here and speaking to the uh, you know, the, the keeper of, uh, you know, when we were looking at the site here and negotiating around the price and all the rest of it. And a lovely a, bloke named Steve. That was an interesting time. Um, but, you know, it, we, we none of us, I mean, it was a bit of a punt at the time. None of us knew what response we were going to have. And yeah, I still remember when we first opened and they had the queue, like, virtually around the block. And we were, like, the whole day was kind of stunned, really. Well, it was, uh, and over the three days. And then, of course, Ryan turned up completely unannounced. Uh, so that, that had was the Brickman original at the in, show. Indeed, indeed, and, and uh, yeah, he was certainly generous with much of his feedback and prize giving that day. I remember, um, I think he quite liked my thong at the time, but that, that's another story. Um, but we'll anyway. save that for Brisbane's after dark. Yes. Uh, so this was a on the beach thong. Uh, just, just to be clear for oh, the good, audience good. here, uh, Harrison. That's a know, swimming image I didn't need. No, no, no. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, okay, I mean, it is a wrap then. As, as how we're going to see your castle again, aren't we? We're going to deal with um, yeah. Realms so 23. Got, we have Realms 23 is already in the forming stage. Um, and when it comes to the castle, we are it is going to have a, another appearance, although I, I am going to be rebuilding the keep. Uh, so that will be substantially different to what it is now. Yep. Um, and of course, my main focus is um, I'm hoping to do an Elven Forest. Um, so, Absolutely. although I will keep this for that section, I think I believe that, that's someone else is doing that section. So this will be attached in there. Correct. There'll be another whole area that. Um, so yeah, big Elven so forest. So look forward to Realms Twenty Three coming in the middle of the uh, year next year. BBX. Yes, Brisbane Bris TV Twenty Twenty Three. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. And this is Steven. Steven's display. Steven, show us. Well, look at this. I'll, you've got to come back to appreciate uh, the Boba Fett and the Darth Vader. How you going, Stephen? Good, thanks, mate. Now that we do have a new build, Stephen, do you want to run us through that Umbara and Fighter that I believe you've recently finished? Um, it was one of the hardest builds I've ever done, actually. It kept falling apart because there's so many hinges on it. It's quite a flimsy build. 
Um, if I get the chance, I'll probably redesign it myself, I'd say. Um, I've also got this new build as well with a little mini figure in there from Nick. <laughs> Sharing, scaring, yeah, me. as it with the Sophie Starfighter star there, and, and they look good. Uh, the three of them there together, they do, they, they do. look fantastic. Well, there's a you probably know more about the Clone Wars, and there was the red, the yellow, and the blue, wasn't there? In there, yes, and then when Star Wars Anakin, came out, there was Anakin, no blue. Anakin did have a blue one as well. He crashes that in uh, yes. the original Tartaskovsky series, yes, uh, which is decanonized these days but can be streamed on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything Disney can't do? They're even doing another Harrison board, I, aren't they? I've been trying to talk to them. They released <laughs> the Indiana Jones trailer yesterday. Um, Disney, if you see this, uh, I am available. I have nothing better to do but be Indiana Jones for you for your young Indi Indiana Jones series. <laughs> I'm uh, good in front of a camera. Yes, yes, good shout out. <laughs> Come on, Harrison, if that is your real name. <laughs> and it is. My mother gave it to me, actually. Now, here is a stalwart of the club. Russell, I gave him an earlier, um, probably less than positive shout out. Ah, but, we've, given him a, we've given him many good plugs, though, at the he, time. He has, been the, he has been the founding member of the club, and today, no less, is more about entertaining the kids with Lego and giving away free Lego than talking to us. So this is an interactive Lego Chima-inspired display. It uses the Chima speeders, uh, which can be seen launching here currently. And, uh, so show us how this works, boys. Get one through the hoops. We, uh, we need you guys with the best performance, so give it a nice rip and send it. Because if you can get one of these vehicles into the lion's jaw, you win a prize. You know that, right? Hang on. All at once. One, two, three, go. Whoa. 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 Here's the winner, here's the winner. Oh, Whoa, that's not ways. bad. That's pretty good. Russell, give us one. Let's have a crack have at this. Have a good day, Russ. I'm having a wonderful day. And uh, is there anything you want to say to the BBX video while we're here today, if, uh, I'm, celebrating 10 years? I'm, I'm just sitting here reminiscing. You are? Oh, yeah, I got it in the swamp. Mood. That's not too and bad. It's, it's come a long way. You're that's better than my oh, basketball mate, performance mate, on our last mate, episode. Can go out on a, on a high? On a high. Oh, you're not going out, mate, not yet. Hey. See? I might fall off the back of me still. <laughs> we'll, we'll prop you up. We are like, here till six o'clock tonight. Yeah. We have to. <laughs> we might need, you might need to embrace my under yeah. table nap. Yeah. No, no. Things, things have progressed. Fantastic. Thank you very much Thank for on. being the backbone of the fantastic. club for the, more than the last 10 years. Oh, fantastic week. <laughs> yeah. so thanks, Russell. That was fantastic how he engages the kids. I've had a crack myself over here. We'll look at my couple of builds we've brought along with my partner, Mary Ann. Now we're I'm some having games. flashbacks to my poor performance at so, basketball last time. Hey, Mary Ann, grab the mic. Run us through what we've done on the table today. Okay, so it's a selection of our uh, Lego games. Um, we've got our Kingdom's chess set, Ninjago Maze, a bit of a mock Quidditch, um, and the really, really fun ones that everybody loves to play is the basketball and the soccer. And also many, 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 many figures. Hmm. Try yeah. saying that quickly the three times. Figs. This is the prop up the display. Oh, they're a personal favourite of mine still. Oh, the kids like looking at them all the time. So, yeah, there's a big collection to see. It took a kid a very long time and me to find Spider-Man earlier. He was there though, he's at the back. And it frames out the display nicely. Anyway, it's really good to have interactive uh, elements to our shows. Speaking of interactive, involved. we have our retailers here. You can buy Lego at our shows. Uh, yeah, I think we've all had a little bit of a crack this time. I've got a table full. There's the usual retailers involved as well. So many bargains to be had when you come down to a Brisbane show. Uh, there's always things to buy along the way, things to see, things that catch the eye, Christmas sales happening, brick resales happening. You can visit Mini their store traders happening. online. Outer Rim Trading Co. You can find the, these guys online as well if you need to get yourself some particular parts. Advent that is calendars very true. available there. We were talking about them before. Oh. Uh, several of our Brisbane's key members. How are you doing? I will quickly Adrian. point out Bud Bricks as well, which I sometimes have a bit of a design hand in. It Shout is mostly run by Again, our president, in. Claude. <laughs> Good work, Claude. Selling Making away. that sale. We love to see it. How are you doing? Coming down the guinea pig for the Christmas month. 
Nice. Look at that. We have the light candle. Like, uh, like I thought you had candy. turkey at Christmas, not guinea pig. A couple pig. of little Christmas moths. Yeah. The guinea pig with the Santa's hat, the light candle, yeah. and so ginger. A little bit of fun, a little bit of Ginger's little heart. A little bit of activity for the kids who are trying to do a... Oh, you're building up a mosaic of... Oh, I've seen yeah. this in Emerald. You have? Yes. Have you also oh, seen uh, my Rudolph? No, yeah, I have Red Nose yeah. Technic Rudolph. Yeah, really got stuck up the top there. Yeah. Yeah, got caught on the top of the easel. Stu in the corner, Thanks. you're also flogging a bit of Lego. I mean, selling some Lego today. Yeah, but what else you're flogging is this fantastic drag strip again. Uh, we're going to roll over here. Now, Stu's done a few of our partner events. This was first unveiled at one of our earlier shows in the year. It returns. I'm a huge fan of the fact that it's playing actual drag racing. How did you integrate that in, Stu? Uh, well, it's just running a, uh, an iPad. Uh, with some footage from the 2019 and 2020 winter nats at Willowbank. Uh, mainly because not a lot of people know what top-field dragsters are, so uh, it's just a bit of a, a live demonstration on, uh, on what the cars actually are. I know them from a show from the ABC called Upper Middle Class Bogan. It's a great show. It's fantastic. <laughs> Classic show. Uh, now, have you got a favourite part at the moment of this display? Oh, look, I love the lights. Uh, the lights really make it for me. Um, we want sound and smells next year as we go with the light. Look, this, maybe this not may, smells. This I've may been be the to last time. Rubber, the, the this may be the last room. time this this display sees the light of day. So the high octane. Ah, fuel. so what have we got planned next? No idea. No idea. Cool. Good. It's, a, it's all realms at the moment. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk because yeah, yeah, oh, I have no idea. It's as well. all realms. A huge right. plug for realms, as well as a big thank you to Lego for helping us with our uh, ambassador network. And yeah, getting some being recognised gives us the uh, ability to get lots of bricks for that, and that is going to be coming up next weekend. So more Briz Brick stuff happening. We're always busy. It's good to see at the moment. See, hey, El, what a change. How'd you get here? I don't know. Uh, uh, hey, from Nick, behind how are the you? Scenes. Good, from, man. from behind the camera to in front of the camera, thought I'd talk about the GBC. This, and this is, is a scaled down version of what you normally have, but run us through the elements you've got going. Yes, yeah, so. The modules. So, yeah, t today I've just got a great ball contraption or GBC on one table. Um, these modules, I would say, are my best of the best. They're the most reliable modules I have. They're the most tra the modules that are, they don't tend to fall apart when traveling. Right. Um, but yeah, so a great ball contraption, all these machines here, they all feed balls into each other using Lego. Yep. Um, a lot of moving parts and they're always challenging to keep them fluid and keep these balls going around the circuit. Yes, yeah. So you always have to keep an eye on it or otherwise they all might, you know, get stuck or the balls might start falling off the track. But and that's part of the fun, the element of surprise and, and because it's physics, some balls yes. often just skip out, as you can see. Oh. Um, yeah, but no, these are these are, modules are the ones that I uh, picked because they're the most reliable. I think our uh, new cameraman and, and is chasing one ball around the whole way. Just so oh, he'll be there for a while if he is. Most of the time they fall off or something. But yeah, I like to put the, the tall ones at the back, right? So, yeah, no, that's so right. kids can look up, they have some height that they can see. And then there's the shorter ones at the front. So you can really see, you're not, you're not obscuring the back ones because of the front ones there too. So um, yeah, and, and um, it's just a nice little display. It, uh, it didn't take too long to set up. So yeah, this is the great ball contraption. It's, if you one table or 16 tables, you just uh, you just come along and you, and you set it up. And we've got 501st joining us. As always at Brisbane Shows, we usually have some costume characters. How are you going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, you are Admiral... Ca careful, he's ISB. I'm ISB. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't mess with them. No. Well, do you want to introduce us to your Mandalorian friend? We hired some Mandalorian help just to make sure that there's no rebels patrolling around. Nice. And All who right. else have we got on site with? Beanie I'd... is... I'd, He's off scouting. I don't see any Jedi. I, but, but that's what, good. What is he? What is he dressed as today? He's a security officer. All right. And a Navy trooper. So uh, we've got high level security at BBX 10 in representing by 501st. Thanks for being part of the show, boys. Yes. Always happy to be here. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll do a transition now. Yep. So transition because we're going to switch. Three. We need Harrison back. Now, Harrison, we're back. I'm back. Well, where'd you go? Oh, I had to hold some stuff for a bit. Right. They trusted me with the expensive technology, which well, is always dangerous. That's crazy. Let's go from the GBC then into your Punk Creations display. Nice Let's try to get more GBC in there, Alan. But uh, Punk Creations, 
Uh, we are sponsored at the moment as well by Gank Energy, so huge shout out to no, those no, guys. Not. <laughs> uh, but uh, they actually helped fund the final piece to complete the Indiana Jones stuff, and that is the magnets. Uh, they were bought all the way from overseas, so they were... Uh, California, IA. Eh? California exclusives, yes. Uh, some of the stuff that was at uh, BBX has been revamped. Um, I wasn't happy with how some of the stuff was sitting on my shelf, so I went to town and basically just remodeled some stuff, so it's actually more viewable and allows light to actually hit it for photographs, because I realized halfway through that all of my photos had weird effects happening. <laughs> uh, so. I've tried to open them up a bit more and really focus on the fine story details. Uh, and how uh, excited are you that you get to go through all this again with the new movie coming out? I must admit I woke up and within three minutes I had a trailer reaction up, so I'm very excited. And if the rumours are true that LEGO is bringing us more Indiana Jones stuff, there's only more to display with Indiana Jones coming Lovely. soon. Lovely. Love it when a plan comes together for you like that. Indeed. We're going to move from Indiana Jones to a different Disney property, going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Rick, run us through your Avengers Tower. Hey Rick, how you going? Hey Nick, uh, doing pretty good. Uh, this Avengers Tower is something that I've built, uh, especially it's for this. Taller than me. Yeah, especially Finally, for the show. Something taller than Nick. Uh, this is originally designed from 2016 by a guy named Oki. He designed it uh, digitally only in uh, Lego LDD. He basically designed it as a display holder for the Ideas Maze. Oh yeah. And he designed it uh, basically so it's a GBC, so if I put the front wall in, the balls are run down, run through the lobby in the bottom, go up a conveyor at the back and keep going round and round and round. I don't have the maze functionality because I don't really have any interest in that. I was just interested in the design of the tower. But you are uh, interested in GBC. I thought you may have built that element in. It is built in, but if I put the front wall on, you just can't see the insides, and the insides are fantastic. So his original design is all that inside is in there. Uh, he had about 7,000 pieces, but it just had no structural integrity whatsoever. So you, right. you couldn't take it to a show. It would fall apart moving it from one table to another. Did right? you even build a box to hold this to keep it? Yeah, there? I put it in a crate to lay it down to bring it in here. But um, I had to redesign the whole thing structurally. So it's anchored from in the bo bottom of the mills plates. Yep. There's, um, there's actually some structural uh, support all the way through to the very top of it. There's a couple of spines that lock the sides, lock the fronts up and down. It's, uh, it's quite rugged. If you give it a bit of a shake, you can see quite rugged yeah, right. so the original that design a was a man who trusts his build process oh yeah the original design was uh seven and a half thousand pieces something like that uh the redesign here is about sixteen thousand pieces um uh, but impressive. yeah you can pick it up you can lay it down you can move it around um i i did about a half of it last uh year before last and then stopped and then this show inspired me to put it all together and get it going a little bit of movement on the top with uh Iron Man Tony Stark up there in his uh, appropriately Christmas, Christmas sweater. sweater. He's just up there buzzing around on his jets just to catch your eye. But um, the original design is all Okies and it's a gorgeous design, so I preserved that. And uh, I'm going to build a city display. Yeah, right. And I like you've got the Christmas scarf on Thor there. Yeah, That's going to be a Christmas big scarf. city if you're integrating that one, Rick. Santa Deadpool is in there as well. Yeah, saw him sitting chilling. Yeah, yeah, and a bit of zombie Captain America. We do love our Easter eggs. And uh, down around the side, we've got Thor. Uh, not Thor, um, Stan Lee, reading a comic book. He's just down here, for those having a look. Uh, and who's on the side of the bus shoulder? Is that a... Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel, I believe. That's an ad for a Captain Marvel Where movie. Where did that come from? That sticker, is that a... Um, oh, I can't remember. Oh, you didn't mock it up or something? Um, but, there's, but there's Thor from one... Uh, the, the Lady Thor from one of those other... Um, what was that from? Sylvie from Loki Sylvie Season from 1. Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She will be reappearing in the recently released Season 2 trailer. And Loki all the way up on top, of course, as per... One of the movies. Yep. Oh, that would be Avengers 1 from 2012. Can you believe that was 10 years ago? Just I like cannot. <laughs> there you go. Nice tie in. All right. It's, it's almost like we're professionals here on Bruce Ricks TV, Nick. Well, speaking of professionals, this build was the professional build from our BBX show last year that won all the accolades. A first timer who uh, is hooked, he's back for his second show. Yep. And James, do you want to give us a well. wave while you entertain the crowd? Yeah. Do you want the mic? Do you want to give us a shout out and then have a chat about what you've really projected on this? But yeah. yeah, sure. So run us through something that you've either changed or am proud of now that you've had a chance to look at it more than Since one September, show. Since September, I've, I've added another tennis court. I've extended this out a little bit more, changed the entrance. Um, Continuous improvement. So it's It is really something we look like for. You can't do much else other than go bigger, right? So I just... I've got grand plans, but 
where do you stop? Did you update the scoreboard? Yeah, so I've got, I've got, everyone knows Dylan Bricks a lot, right? He's a household name. He's in the wheelchair. So I'm pretty sure he was in the Lego movie. Center stage, yeah, he, I'm sure he was. So they're taking center stage today. Nice. And uh, I wanted to add the wheelchair guys last time, but I just ran out of time for that. So they've got the, uh, the focus on them today. I, I think he's going to return that shot as well. I think he's going to make it, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's um, it's it's evolving. It's where do you stop? I mean, well, the leaves should start falling off that jacarina about this time of year. Yeah, they're they're hanging around a little bit longer. Just than park a car under there and cover it in the uh, leaves because that's currently what <laughs> Queenslanders are experiencing yeah. if they park outside. Exactly right. So, um, you know, a couple of little, well, I'd say Easter eggs, but I guess Christmas eggs. Um, you know, Santa's, Santa's made an appearance. Those rain. He's got a carrot there with a reindeer. Just, oh, just, oh, yeah. oh, they're hiding behind the tree. I see. It's Those really reindeers keep popping up reindeer. everywhere. Yes, there's a few have been available on the picker brick recently. You can oh, also yeah, buy yeah. the entire set at shopathome.com and you can use the Brisbricks code for our affiliate link. Got more. Wait, wait, it's okay. Welcome to Brisbane's TV. We'll interview yeah. you next if you don't care. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, an officer, but uh, I do have the uh, the navy shovel, which is a big black uh, looking thing. An yeah. officer and a gentleman. Sorry, you're an officer and a gentleman. Um, yeah, sure, I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is from our Realms last year. You're upgrading this for next year's Realms 23? Yeah, I'm going to have to start uh, taking some foliage off and actually build up the terrain a bit to to fit into the this year's or next year's theme. But yeah, that's yep. uh, a yeah, continuation from it. And we're just looking now at your neighbours, I suppose. That's Brad from Minifig Traders. Yep. We walked past his retail display. It looks like it's got a bit of Lord of the Rings happening. Yeah, the front there. I presume it's a... Uh, Another theme possibly rumoured to be coming back in 2023. Oh, there'll be more uh, of course, coming up. Probably That's from the new Which is very series. convenient for us castle builders for <laughs> all of those minifigure yeah. parts. Very yeah. challenging. Collect it all. Yes. And there was Voltron standing on the side as well. <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to add? Oh, look, uh, just excited to be oh, part of the 10 year uh, show again. I was here 10 years ago wearing the same costume, so. Oh, is that some, oh, the throwback. Exactly, yeah, it's a throwback nice. to the 10 years, so. Well, been, congratulations uh, again on being <laughs> an OG member. Yep, yep, it's been great. Uh, yeah. Good good work, everybody, and uh, thanks. And another for, person who served on the committee. Of course. Oh, yes. And good job too. Thanks for missing second. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. Not too bad. Right, so micro build for you. Hey, I'm just jumping across this side so I can talk to Joe. Yeah. What have, what have you got for us today? Uh, so I've got a couple of the V8 supercars and the transporters. Appropriate, because uh, they're appropriate racing Because they're racing at Adelaide today. And Holden won. Oh, they won the championship, yeah. They are <laughs> starting from the back of the grid this afternoon. Yeah, so you were um, saying that earlier, is that right? The Red Bull is Yeah, Red Bull made a mistake in qualifying. They'll be starting at the back. Yep, yeah, um, still pushing their way through the Monster pack. Energy Mustang qualified on pole today right, in the pole shootout. Position. We've got the pole position car here at Brisbane 10. It's All excellent. Right. Um, but yeah, they, they're complete mocks. Um, had, yeah. had a look at the speed champions and decided to change them up a little bit. Do, do a bit of do um, yourself. What do you think of the new ones that just come out? There's a GTR and... So the, the Red Bull car that's there is actually the Camaro for next year. I was building this for next year's shows and when this one popped up, I went, oh, I've got something that's 90% done. I'll oh, all right. bring that out and bring it along. So um, You're a little bit ahead of the curve. Obviously, everyone recognises what they are pretty easy with the, the sign writing on the trailers. Yeah, I love so, the support trucks. They're, they're uh, good. They good look value. really good. Well, they are fantastic. Framed out nicely for a very... Uh, Small build for, for what you usually do. Yeah, it is. Um, but thanks for representing and being trying a part. to allow as many people as possible to display. Yes, so I decided to just to commit to half table. table. We also were talking about the red blue blend split while Marcus was telling us about our history. Joe does represent both clubs. He's yeah, in the red shirt. Of like as well as Bruce Bricks. And it's yes. part of our ongoing collaboration between both clubs. Certainly am. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about Lego. Thanks. Absolutely. So everyone likes exactly Lego. Right. Thank you, Joe. Hey Stuart, how many clone figures have we got here? 121. Woo. All right, take 121, you said. I've got 121 and clones in parade 121 style. 121 gigawatts. Oh, wrong movie. <laughs> gigawatts. So they're in parade style. You know, the clankers can't resist that. 
So that's my nice display of them. It's only half of my collection. And that looks like the 2013 Walker. Is there a reason you chose it over the new one? Uh, because I haven't built the new one yet. That's as good as reason as any. Yep. I got the Lego it. backlog is ongoing yep. for many members. The reason why they're on a green planet? Uh, because it was easy to transport. <laughs> uh, That's a recurring thing <laughs> that I've heard today, funnily enough. Uh, getting near to Christmas, we've all got other things on. Yeah. It's good to get out there and still have no to bring to the show. But I got four of the new ones anyway. But they're just not, you know, built yet. They are a lovely set. No worries. Highly recommend well, you pick that up. More down, still more. There's more Lego. There's more. There you go. Hi, Liana. Hello. So the kids still aren't back or they're hiding out the back? They're hiding Either out way. Back. What have we got here from the representative bit of Minecraft? So Deacon and Theo's combined effort over here. Ah, oh, the mini collab. We do love that. It's something Minecraft Dungeons related. Right. That's all in my repertoire of Minecraft exists. M Don't Minecraft. worry, us three. <laughs> and then this has an extended version that I helped them with. It's yeah, a right. horticulture, agriculture, yeah. Um, I like red, orange, green, that blue. That was my input. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give it, give it That's right. me and my creative output when it comes to Minecraft. Yeah. Coloured it up. That's about it. Yeah. Even you know the I mean? even the cows are, they split are growing. For a reason? Do they open up or anything? They is do. It? Right. But they're well, fixed down at the moment. Okay. We won't go there. We won't go there. That. Look, look, what we are going to go far. is check out what you've done my for colors, us. Yes. Well, this is wheels. The uh, wheels made all the uh, trains. We'll start with wheels. So wheels. A bit of a. Is that the chocolate locomotive in the back done differently? Yes, it is. Crocodile. Wow. Yes. Yeah, right. A crocodile is at the back, and we have my favourite and but only Lego mocked. train that I own is the Constitution yes, at the front. Yes, it is someone else's design, but we, he built it from their instructions. Oh, yes, and the old tram. Yes, we've got that That's one from cool. company in Melbourne. Nick has been in our train group a little bit longer than me, but I've been in our train group at Brisbane since I started, and until this year, I didn't own a train. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how you did happy 10th birthday, Brisbane, all yeah. in, all in the. The Duplo Something lettering. Bring the party here. Oh, you did. You've as done well that. as the uh, new addition, the gingerbread house. Yes. I Very like that you have enough A's and I's and things to actually complete that sentence. Well, like, a... when, we've, when we've gone around representing Brisbricks, there's a lot of B's in Brisbricks and Campbell. So oh, we had to buy see. multiple sets. So yeah. Campbell's got all the L's and yeah. Okay. So I have more than one set. It's also nice to have the uh, Duplo represented at the it intense uh, yes. party. So you got a Duplo doll's house by the looks, like yes. a tree, like a, yeah, with a cutaway, perfectly done as well. Brickman would be impressed with that. Like you've, <laughs> you've nailed that. It's been named the Rainbow Doll House from one of my friends down south. Oh, I like it. I do like it. Very too. fitting name. Yes, I don't think you've missed any of the colours there. That's great. Well, and, thank you very much. Yeah, and we went through all the other castles. They're all the different Duplo, yep, Frozen. Sleeping Beauties, Frozen and Cinderella. Love and a gingerbread, and a gingerbread or house. yes, of course. Christmas. Great job, Thank thanks, you. Liana. Another person who we uh, hooked at uh, BBX, Duncan. Okay. He's back. He's back. I am yes. indeed. Grab the mic. So and better than up. ever. Of I've course. heard there's been some updates. Of course. What um, have you got for us, Duncan? Okay. Well, I've got look my thickest forest temple which you saw uh, yeah we broke that down last time at the expo oh, on the turntable it's got the turntable this time yeah. the, the winds the winds messing it about a bit but that's all right oh uh, yes we've had some wind problems <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a uh, good and then i've uh, got my uh train train okay. shed here at at boil, boiler hot. shed um and i think since the last show i've actually added some light so i've i've gone in and and added sort of these. Oh yeah. Oh, we yeah. have a lot of confident builders picking up their builds in strange ways Overhead at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. making me very they're, concerned. They're robust because they've had to travel with them to get here. Yeah. This is uh this has had a few few breakages over the trips, but And what are these monstrosities good. at the back? Bionicle Bionicles. Uh, look my my own creations. Um, Looks based, like a predator. Based on a based on a few of the the bionicle themes. So you've is that got the one Priaraka, the I believe, is uh, the bionicle law behind the guys where that head comes from, off the blue guy. Um, the Baraki was the bad guys from the underwater theme. Um, so that's sort of just based on on that theme there. So they sort of went into the deep, and you had all of these weird fish creatures come out of the pit and and attack them, and and I've sort of built on that taken a, an existing design which was that head with a couple of the glow in the dark pieces it had a four arm um, design originally and then I've, I've just built my own fish from that so yeah 
Well, we'll have him with chips for dinner tonight. <laughs> Jurassic Bills. Which is also currently available uh, to be purchased. Oh, oh, did you see that live dinosaur move? How did you do that? <laughs> Magic. Thanks, Magic. Duncan. Good no job. Great display. Aha, Winter Wonderland. Hello. One of two actually here today. Joanna, I got the name wrong, how embarrassing. All good. Take, take us through your Winter Wonderland. These, this is a great display. Thanks Thank for you showing. Very much. Thank you. So, yeah, th this is the um, Winter Village uh, Festive Market Square with uh, featuring some Harry Potter sets um, and obviously the you know, iconic uh, Winter Village sets. Uh, we've got the gazebo with Santa, some Christmas stalls. Most importantly, the Darth Vader works Santa. Are a highlight, well okay. done. Mock Thank those you. yourself. Yes. I yeah. actually am digging the trees just under those with the uh, use of the white carrot piece yes. for the icicles. Yeah, yeah they're good. The, the horns there and like, yeah, kind of animal. A um, variety of the, icicles. Yeah, the bars, um, translucent ones. We've got the Joker and Harley taking off in a, in a zooped up yes. sleigh. Yeah, they've the got the pot in there, you know, some Christmas <laughs> lights, stole some. We've got the, the elf coming to, to Santa with some more presents. And the original merry-go-round carousel, you want to show us you've got yeah. that, mo not motorized, but as yeah, you said. I still, it still works. So you, if you, I did the, you know, the handle here. Yep. Because I, did, I, I didn't want to lose the space over there with, with that bit that comes here, with the set. So I just changed it around and put the, the little handle here, so it still works. Lovely. Yeah. It's fantastically well done. I expanded the um, clock tower from Harry Potter, so it's more full and looks uh, wintry with the white bits. Very so cathedral inspired. Yeah, yeah. And, now, and I'd the like other to end? Know what's the other going end. on down here with the ice queen? She doesn't so, look like she's having a great Christmas. No, no, she's she, she's very miserable. <laughs> she's very, very angry, I think. So yeah, I, I built this little set here, a uh, little sleigh. Um, yeah, the sleigh. That was like Santa sleigh, but I changed it into uh, for you know made it suitable for ice queen. And uh, this is a uh, an igloo from a, a cottage uh, set. Changed that actually a looks bit. like it could be a gift with purchase. That's been built okay. so well. Yeah. yeah, with the little guy that came uh, um, last, came out last year. The, the, um, and also the pine trees, Guardian. half dark, half green. Yeah, Just so, give it that. Some are dead and some are okay. And this is a, um, a set that I um, mocked a little bit. So the base is from the Chinese Ice Festival and the, the top is uh, what I came up with. Yeah, and myself. I hadn't seen that ice effect before. So yeah, the, the minifigures are from the set as The well. translucent uh, piece was the first time in that yes, uh, opalescent effect yeah. for yeah, that set. And yeah. I hadn't noticed, so that looked really good. Yeah. So that's yes. the that's, uh, ski, ski rental and the ice skates rental over there. Yes. Yeah. Now Nick, can you ski out of curiosity? No. I, never, I never, can. <laughs> I've never even yes. been on snow. Yes, neither have I. So uh, here in Australia, our Christmas is in December, which is summer. Yeah. Uh, so this is a scene that we don't really see. Well, and normally be bloody hot here. Yeah. Sorry, excuse my language. But um, today has been rather nice and chill. It has been, actually. Strange weather for us. Apparently 10 years ago, it was close to the 35 degree mark in this shed. It was a little bit sweet. I'm wearing hey, a leather jacket. Dead. I'm very happy Where it's not you? that. Are you see you again? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderland part, part two. two. You've got yes. some competition now. Oh, uh, that's okay. This it's is good. Expanding the snow. Yeah. The more Christmas, the merrier. Nice. Yes. So what's the highlight of your build? The what? reindeer feeding area yes. there in the park. I don't know if they will fly at the end of the day. There's a lot of carrots being... <laughs> Depends on how yes. fast you launch it at the end yes. of the show, I believe. <laughs> but now, yes. I'm a huge fan of something I've just noticed, which is the conductor at the front here, but more importantly, how you've done the brick-built road yes. with all of the plates. With the curve with the around curve. the corner, that's new. Yes. That's I don't cool. envy you having to remove those with a brick separator. <laughs> <laughs> that may be uh, sitting in front of a, uh, a movie and just... That wouldn't be Frozen 2, would it? No, probably the Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, there it is. I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yes. But no, it's nice to see Mrs. Claus out and about in the sleigh as well, not just... Oh, she's on parade. Home. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's just the night work that she, oh, doesn't, well. she doesn't want to join in on. <laughs> yes. So, All no. Right, and the flashing lights are looking stunning. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for representing again at BBX10. Ghostbusters? Who are you going to call? Not me, preferably. Well, I'll have to call on, on you to tell us what's happening in the display, Paul. What's Grab happening? the mic. Yeah, come on. Give us a rundown on what, what we got on the show. Uh, first is the Gundam, of course. Um, made famous from the movie Ready Player One, but also a uh, cartoon series uh, debuted in 1977. Um, the other two are from a, a popular game on PlayStation and PC called Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, the middle one, the Lego set, released. Um, but the one on the ends of Mock, which we've created itself. So, yeah, and with a little bit of help job. from uh, people overseas and a few other guys that designed them, I got some ideas off them. And, now, yeah. I only know the Horizon games from a cosplay friend, HV3, uh, and I noticed that minifigure at the front. Now, I believe that was when, worth just buying the tall neck just for the Halo minifigure because it's quite good. I believe when they came out, it was one of the earliest minifigures to have the actual side of the head print uh, to be done. Something Lego uh, normally just does the back and front side of the head. Uh, that minifigure actually has side printing and it's tucked in just there. Not sure if Alan's camera there you go. I didn't know it, that. It's behind the uh, hairpiece in there. Uh, so that, that caused an interest in the uh, minifig community. Yeah, right. So that's about it. And there of course, my wife did the mosaic, but as soon as the camera comes out, she runs away. Fair enough. Uh, that's it's, okay. the, it's the wrong 80s franchise for me. <laughs> but we're not all good in front of the camera, are we, Harrison? No, no, it takes a bit of practice. All right, and last but not least, I believe, and he's missing as well. Grizzly over on Twitch, Adam to us. Uh, he has done the movie cars. Recently, he has added to this with Optimus with the lights. I uh, challenged him to do that um, after <laughs> I built mine. He's lit up a few. Um, I wish he was here because the Ghostbusters got light and sound now. It but does, yes. I heard that this morning. I was actively encouraging him to uh, there are use it as much as there, possible. I don't know which ones. Surely it can't be that hard. Well, I'll just Go hit on. all of them. Not that one. Not that one. It's not that one. No, I got nothing. No, I got nothing either, so. Okay, the other update we will highlight. I know Adam has shown me. We've got two DeLoreans here, one from the original. Now, this is the Back to the Future 2. We've got Mr. Fusion. And if you watch as Michael comes, as <laughs> we have Michael J. Fox, I was going to say, he's actually got Michael's jacket on to make him look more film realistic, as in Michael from Knight Rider, because that's kind of the style that he was wearing at that time when he was hanging off the plaques. There you go. No luck with the sound? No luck with the sound, but Only that does vision. bring us to a wrap of the loop of the 10th anniversary show. Yeah. Nick, did you have a favourite thing that you saw when we walked around? I, I love the nostalgia of everyone representing the 10 years that we've had this LEGO club really building to this experience. And uh, I mean, this year's show was a highlight for me. This is a lovely little pre-Christmas um, yeah, yeah, I'm not pointing the microphone. That's not going to help. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been fantastic having you all along for the ride, and we're glad that we can show you what we can do. And we look forward to seeing you all next year for what's bigger and better things to come. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the plans people have hinted at for BBX next year, as well as the fact that there's just so much passion, both of past members and our new members. We've had a few actually sign up today on their first experience here which has kind of come full circle. So it's been fantastic. All right. And what was your highlight from today? Oh, my highlight from today, it's hard to pick just one, isn't it? But I think the thing that stood out to me the most was uh, uh, Brad's Lord of the Rings hall build. Yep. It's just so well done and very scene accurate. Uh, it, it ticks my box. Well, there's something for everyone here at BBX, um, whether it's your space or your Duplo, your Technic or your traditional Lego sets and whichever or retail, or, if you or, just want to come to shop. That's right. For whatever little rabbit hole that you want to go to, we've got something for you. So see you at the next show. Absolutely. Thank you for watching.